Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to speed up Photoshop and make it work faster. So a lot of the ways to speed up Photoshop are hidden in the preferences setting. So go up to edit and then down to preferences and then down further to performance. Now I'm using CS5, but these changes will also work for earlier versions of Photoshop. Just the layout here will look a little different. Uh, the scratch disks, if you have more than one hard drive on your computer, it's good to put the scratch disk on a hard drive that isn't very full and a different one that Photoshop is running on. So if you have your images on a different hard drive, you can put the scratch disk on one of those drives. And history states, if your Photoshop is starting to run slow, you can change this history states to 10 or 20. Uh, this determines how far back in time you can go with the undo button. So if you like to undo a lot, you should probably keep this fairly high, but if you can handle uh, not keeping your history, then you can put this fairly low. And this here cache levels, depending on what your computer is like, uh, one way or the other will make things faster. If you have a speedy computer, you can put the cache levels up high. This will make Photoshop look like it runs faster. It'll be able to redraw the image as you uh, change it. Or in the histogram, it'll be updated quicker. If your computer is starting to go slow, you can reduce the cache levels and that should speed up Photoshop. And this tile size here, before that used to be a setting that you sort of had to sneak into the files within Photoshop. And now they've put it in the uh, pref performance window here. If you want to change the setting on earlier versions of Photoshop, that can increase the speed a fair bit. You should do a search for bigger tiles plugin and you should find some information on that. And then there's always the RAM. Here you set how much RAM you want Photoshop to use. Uh, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM on this computer so I still have 4 gigab gigabytes left for Windows to use. Uh, you shouldn't just move this all the way to the right because then the rest of your computer will start going slow. So keep it sort of a happy medium. Give Windows at least two gigabytes to work with. And that's it for the preferences setting. So click on OK. And these aren't going to take effect until we restart Photoshop. But one more thing we can do. If Photoshop starts to crawl on you, uh, go into Edit, Purge. And then you can release all the memory that's being used up to store the clipboard, the history states, or everything. So if you go Purge All, uh, click OK, and then Photoshop will release a bunch of memory it's been using and hopefully work faster in the next little bit. And that's it. Restart Photoshop and you should be set. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.